by God, it's Saturday, and fellas, you know on Saturdays we shoot. It is almost time for episode three of Saturday Night Shoot Masters. I'm excited. Marcus Twist and the great friend of the show, Stephen Meeks. Oh, my God. I'm excited, fellas. How we feeling? I'll start with Meeks. He's our special guest. How you feeling, Stephen Meeks? Welcome back, sir. I'm well. It's good to be back on the road, and... Uh... And yeah, let's just let's just have a good time. And, and yeah, on Saturdays we shoot. Let's do the thing. Marcus Twist, I know you're hyped. You told me you're hyped as hell. What what are we looking forward to Saturday Night Shootmasters, baby? Bro, I'm looking forward to the whole show. We've talked about it all this past week leading up to Saturday. The entire state of Pennsylvania has been on fucking fire. So, I mean, like, you got to have something to look forward to. And why not fucking look forward to some good wrestling with some good people? How about it? Oh, man, I it? am stoked. This is this is a good one. I promise you. I thank everybody for tuning in. We're counting it down. It's almost time. We've been talking about it for weeks. I've been on the road, up and down the highways, from Beckley to Dunbar, everywhere, getting footage for this bad boy. You're going to see us on the road, going to these shows Main event, fellas, Jason Kincaid against Bullet Club Zone, the inevitable Ace Austin. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Oh, oh God, shit. So hyped. so hyped, dude. We'll get into the matches. We'll get into the matches. We got time. We're counting it down. You see the counter. It's counting down. Let's talk about Steven Meeks, man. The last time he was on the show... We asked him, he, I said, when's your next match? He said, oh, June. And I was like, damn. But that's not the way things turned out. We're super proud of you, Meeks. You How's things been going gear, for you, bro? It's been going good. I've, I've been having a lot of fun down here in the Carolinas. Uh, I'm As always, I'm just happy to be here. And uh, let's just let's continue the Hug of the World Tour. Let's keep loving people through wrestling. And we got to make a, a WrestleRoney a fantasy booking match happened in between the last two matches. I got to wrestle my now, I mean, he, he was my big brother before, even more so now, uh, Billy Knox. And, uh, and that was a lot of fun getting to meet Spooky Lou and uh, being able to love people through wrestling with the uh, premier wrestling league. What a fan. At the mall. What? And it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. It was a Russell Roney miracle. Didn't I even see you on yeah. Facebook? I saw you uh, holding a title belt. Uh, that was a, that's a that's a gimmick belt for a for a strong style pro wrestling review. They oh. so that was that was just to show the promoters like, hey, Meeks looks pretty good in gold. He looks legit. Yeah. He look, he's got I got, he's got you. A nice nice physique, and you know, I have, you know, you got you got to gimmick the the people every now and then. That's why you got to read the posts. You got to read yeah. the words and not just look at the damn picture like Spooky Lou does. Yeah. Make show I'm me some footage. Please, man. Real professional. Let's put up that footage you sent me. You, you sent me some match footage. I appreciate it. It's rolling for the folks now. Man, you, like I say, you've been killing it. We're proud of you. You've been keeping an eye on Stephen Meeks, Marcus Twist? Oh, dude. I've been, I've been keeping up on things. I've seen, uh, seen like him and Billy tearing the house down. Uh, I mean, dude, you're killing it. You're doing more than I have. I mean, I, we've uh, we've had some fucking some issues here and there. I'm actually like took a damn near a month off with maybe a couple bookings in between. <laughs> so I mean, we were just talking before we started. It's interesting because I think I'm gonna end up at PWL. Maybe we'll get the cross pass too. That's something That'll be fun. Uh, I want to go to one of these college shows or the skating rink. I mean, one right. of my favorite things about wrestling is like just the different places it'll take you, like whether it's a, a grocery store uh, anniversary, you know, I've wrestled for that now, or if it's in a brewery, or it's like it's like Mortal Kombat, you know, like there's different stages and arenas, and like, oh. I just, I want to wrestle in the cool venues that PWL has to offer, you know, it's like. Dude, you'll, you'll go from malls to skating rinks to, I mean, nightclubs to underground, like, music venues and everything few and far between. I've wrestled at barbecue festivals and fairs. and Old used dude, car lots? Right. Yeah, yep. Wrestled yeah. in some car lots, wrestled in some warehouses, wrestled, like, it, like completely off the map. Didn't even know where I was going until I got there. Like, wrestling's a crazy time. It, it really is like Street Fighter. 
Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, like you never know where you're gonna show up. There's gonna be a ring. Sometimes there's not. Shit. Yeah. Like, I mean, no. <laughs> good shit. Good shit. I'm excited. Hell, while this is airing, me and you somehow through the cyberspace magic, we're at the Mannington Gym getting ready for RSW. Bite your tongue, but we've Dude, hated that enough. Somehow, some way, somehow we're through the magical. Yeah. It's magic. Two places at once. World Wide Web. Yeah. Dude. So, so I'll put it out there. I'll put it out there. I'll sacrifice my views even. If you are in the area, go ahead and you can leave this on until you get there. But get down to the Mannington Gym. Watch Bite Your Tongue. But if you're not in the area, because we are worldwide, baby. If you ain't around Mannington, hang tight. What a night in store for you. Uh, you better get you some snacks. It's going to be a long one. But it's a lot of action coming up, fellas. A lot of action. Let's get into it. Opening match, a seven-man scramble from PWL. We got Tyler Jackson there. We got Gen Z. Uh, Smokey C is even in this one. Uh, loaded, loaded match. Uh, how you guys feel about this? Oh, man, I love I love me some Smokey C. Uh, I, I think my first interaction... With him, I, I told him, I was like, man, I used to grow up and see you do shows at the Armory. He was like, man, don't don't tell me that. Like, you're making me, <laughs> making me feel old. But, uh, but yeah, no, I love this and Smokey C. Uh, Tyler Jacks is a, a Power Slam guy, and uh, or Kincaid, Kincaid, one of Kincaid's kids. And, uh, and yeah, I, it's, it's going to be pretty fun. Smokey C is a West Virginia wrestling legend in my book. Same here. I watched him kill it. Oh, man, we used to have weekly shows in Fairmont and uh, monthly shows, bi-weekly shows in Clarksburg, and he was the top guy crazy times. Uh, Marcus Twist, I know you know Smokey C. How you feel about this one? Oh, brother, that was my first singles match ever was against Smokey C in the Mannequin Barbecue Festival, I think, in 2021. Um, wow. he still owes me a match, dude, and I know he wrestles for them fucking clowns. I'm trying to get in there. I've seen Madman Pondo advertise it, mm -hmm. but where, dude, Smoke, Smokey C, he's a, he's a West Virginia legend, man. There's plenty of guys that are running around, like I said, like Madman Pondo and him, especially. Got a lot of respect for the guy. I've seen him do plenty of great things. We did a little tribute to, uh, New Jack in our match. Nice. Um, it... It was basically a mirrored him and New Jack's match in between me and him. That's that's what he wanted to do. That's what we did. A lot of respect for anybody that trains, trains under uh, Jason anytime. Kincaid's one of the best to ever do it, dude. Well, if we're talking so, I mean, that's, legends. That's got to be a crazy good match. Oh, crazy yeah. Good. Tyler Jacks, too. We can put him over all day. But let's, let's keep moving on here because we got a lot to cover. Talking about legends, I'll tell you what. We got... Benny Conley returning. Uh, he's going to be a staple of shoot match masters, I assure you. The Panamanian Poker Man. Did I say that right? Say it better. Panamanian Poker. By God, legend. All right. Hate to kind of spoil things, but I will because it's such a big deal. And I know Marcus is excited about this. He comes out. He makes. He says, "Yo, I ain't champ no more, but I'm a badass. I'm here to fight." He calls out anybody who comes out. Holy shit. Judo Ace Donovan, where's this guy been? And brings the IWF Shoot Fight Championship with him. This is a fun one, fellas. Uh, Marcus Twist, your thoughts on these guys? Oh, dude, there I couldn't even tell you. I, I can't begin to tell you how much I respect both of these guys. Um, Judo Ace Donovan, I back whenever Saturday Night Special first got off the ground, it was a constant. We would wrestle... Uh, Crawd Dad Kai is the name of the tag team. That would be Judo Ace Donovan and uh, Johnny Youngblood. Okay. And we uh, go back and forth all over West Virginia and into Cleveland, Ohio with those guys. Um, a lot of respect for uh, Judo Ace Donovan there. And Benny Connolly helped train us there for quite a while. Whenever I was still in school, Benny was coming down from the, the southernmost part of West Virginia all the way up to almost Morgantown. Um, I got to wrestle him at PWL. 
like these are both guys that I respect, both guys that definitely respect the business. They respect each other. They're tough guys. I mean, I'm I'm more than ready to like watch this match go down. It's it it's got to be a sick one. Oh, got to be. And I tell you what, I promise you, Judo Ace hasn't lost a step. Uh, he hasn't been in the ring in a minute. It was as far as I'm. It's been, I, been a while. It was a big surprise. If I ruin the surprise for you, sorry, but uh, you got to know Judo Ace Donovan's on the show. Mix, you familiar with these cats? I know you are. How do you feel about it? Uh, Judo Ace Donovan, not so much, but Benny Connolly, uh, uh, he was in the locker room at my very first uh, singles match. So, uh, so love me some Benny Connolly. Would love to, would love to get in the ring with that dude. Uh, but uh, the big clip that the, the national anthem moment in this match in the beginning <laughs> that's been getting shared on Facebook is like my favorite thing ever. So, uh, so yeah, this is this is awesome. And that was. Uh, that was the most natural just thing, man. It was uh, everybody was chanting USA because, you know, Benny got the Panama deal and uh, he's dressed up USA attire. And that's what we love. That's what I love about wrestling. Meeks, what did you say earlier? What did you tell me what you loved about Shoot Masters compared to wrestling? The, the variety hour deal. What was yeah, that? It's like you? a it's like a variety hour. You know, you got to have you got to have your. Your soapy moments, your your telenovas, and then your uh, your comedy hour, and, and your and your more true grit cowboy western stuff. You know, it's just uh, that's what that's what wrestling is all about. It's just uh, entertaining the folks, however however y'all may do it, and, like, and keep it and, making that dance work. Yeah, man, that's on point as hell, and that's what Shoot Masters is, especially this episode. What do you see? And that's a championship match, fellas. That's a championship match you can only see on Wrestleroni. IWF Shoot Fight Championship. Wait till you see this bad boy. Let me see what else we got. Uh, let's just talk about uh, our good friend. We all know him oh so well. Billy Knox. <laughs> but he's met his match. He has met his match in this one. Aaron West. Big fucking strong man. This is a banger. Wait, what do you think, Marcus? Uh, see, I'm, I'm not familiar with Aaron West's stuff as much as I am with Billy. I've never wrestled him. Uh, I've seen a little bit here and there. I know that he's a tough guy. I know he's built like a refrigerator, huh? <laughs> uh, I heard I heard plenty of stuff about like this match from from you because I mean, you know, that's how I get most of my information on the indies I'm not at is from <laughs> Spooky Lou. But uh, I'm excited to see it. I heard that there's a pretty interesting uh, interesting move execution in this one. So I'm, I'm ready to walk back. Oh, man. Billy getting his ass thrown around. <laughs> I love it. Oh, no. Steven, That's what I've heard. Oh, my That's God. That's something normal. Just to That's think not... he was throwing me around. You know? Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of crazy, <laughs> dude. That that two what what is it like two seventy five or two hundred and eighty pound frame of Billy Knox like going through the air? That's interesting. Oh, bro, it's definitely you. You got to be uh, you got to be worth your weight in order to do something like that. So it's super impressive. I'm ready to see it. Yeah, get hype for this yeah. one. And, and while it's going on, Billy's fighting fucking Nick Mans at the Mannington Gym. Last man standing. Get down to Mannington. Or watch shoot man. Another Billy, got can't off. Catch, Billy can't catch a break, man. He he started thinking on people his own size, and I don't. I mean, and we'll he got Benny coming up. Him, yeah, man. I mean, he he's working hard. We we love we love Billy Knox. Oh yeah, that's oh. my big brother, man. Good dude, good dude. And believe me, this show. Sorry to tell you, fellas, it's pretty much the Billy Knox show because that's who I've been on the road with. You're going to see plenty of Billy Knox this episode, I assure you, because we got the vlog segments, as we usually do, in between the matches. So you got plenty of Billy Knox on this episode. So if you're a Billy Knox fan, you're going to love it. If you're not, you're going to love it. <laughs> You'll be you're going to love it either way. I guarantee you're going to love it because you love it, or you're going to love it because we tell you to. I look at it this way. I was thinking about it because I'm currently editing the episode. If you're not a big fan of the vlog segments, if you're just here for the wrestling, the vlog segments are going to run about 7 to 10 minutes each. If you're not into it, go make you a sandwich. Go take your piss. Go take your shit. Go take the dog out. Go check on the kids. Whatever it is, man. It works, right? Does that make sense? Go take that dog out, yeah. 
Yeah, take the dog out. I let the dog take the dog out. My dog's pretty smart. <laughs> and keep in mind, for those watching, I appreciate you watching. Right here on the kickoff, we've got a match. By God, Polly Kilpis in PWL. And he's taking on the JAC. We're talking about big boys. That's coming up right here on the kickoff, right on this video. Carolina guy. And, yeah. And the West Virginia guy. Love it. Well, yeah, man. So that's a good one. And I made it real easy for the viewers. All you got to do when this is over, link in the description. Boom. Click it. You're on shoot, Masters, baby. But at the same time, turn on those goddamn notifications when you know when a video is coming out, man. It's, it's easy. It's simple. So YouTube makes it real yeah, easy hell. for you. What else we got, fellas? You know what we got? You want to talk big boys? This is a big boy show, I guess. I, I didn't realize till now. It's a hoss fest. Hoss fest. I dig it. Tommy Irish, one of my favorites on the indie Ooh, scene. Mine too. Oh, my God. Against another one of my absolute favorites. No bullshit. Gannon Green. I believe Marcus Twist was in the house for this one. Do you remember this one, Marcus? Yeah, I, I got I got some vague memories on it, dude. I definitely heard it. Yeah, I did that I didn't get to watch it, but I I heard every bit of it. Those are two big guys rolling around in that ring together. I couldn't, Gannon. You're strong as fuck, bro. Holy shit, uh, Stephen Meeks. You familiar with these two cats? Uh, I've seen Gannon's work, and and I gotta tell you, I'm a big fan of how aggressive he is, and and I would love to I'd love to get in the ring. With that dude, I mean, he's 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 pretty legit. He's he's super super shooter like, you know. He's I love to love to love people through wrestling with with gaming. Woo, brother! Coming coming from somebody who personally knows. God damn, does that dude hit hard? You'll you'll feel it. You'll feel it for a couple days. I've I've had all kinds of matches with Gannon Green and Polly Kill Piss both, and I don't think I had, like. At least for the first couple of days, I was definitely taking some extra ibuprofen and taking it more easy during my uh, <laughs> during my entire day after. That's for sure. Uh, there's a couple. I was probably a handful of days I spent on the couch because of that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I was just like, yeah, we're watching TV and we ain't doing shit today. I believe it. I believe it. Yeah, he's a, he's a tough feller. That's for sure. And this believe match it. is a banger. Uh, Tim wanted it for TV, for RSW TV. I believe it'll still be on TV, but I said, Tim, I got to have this for the show. I got to have it. So it's going to be on both. So whatever. There's nothing wrong with that, man. Hell no. Yeah. There's a love. few. Share the love. Yeah, man. There, there's a little uh, surprise on the episode as well that you can see other places as well. I'll just leave it at that. Nah, fuck it. If you're watching, I love you. Tonight, Cowpoke Paul Beast man, no ring death match. Holy shit. Holy shit. It's love fucking love crazy. Love yeah. Marcus. <laughs> oh, man. My two boys. My two boys in all their glory. Dude. Super, super excited for I I was in the back preparing for my own match whenever that one went down. I'm so excited to watch it back. I've seen tons of clips. I heard the crowd. I seen them both when they came back through into the locker room. I gotta watch this one. This one's probably top tier uh, out of the whole show. This is the one you gotta watch. If you're gonna watch any of it, watch that match. Oh man, Beast Man and Cowpoke Paul. It's all about who I want to represent on this show. I love both of them. So glad to have this footage, courtesy of Evil Ways. And if you like it, Go subscribe to that Evil Ways YouTube. There's more. I promise you, there is more. Coming there's Monday a, to the channel. Oh. There's a whole bunch. I, I, I know what's coming because I've seen it. I've seen the upcoming. Oh, man. If you don't know, last night, Evil Ways just dropped. Uh, so if you can't wait, if you want to watch it right now, go over to the Evil Ways YouTube. They just dropped Pick Your mm. King. Three awesome matches. Marcus Twist, Mad Dog Myers. Of course, the match we just mentioned, as well as Otis Kogar against Jason Gorey, the craziest match I've ever been a part Jason. of, that I've ever filmed. And uh, they've got their footage for it. They got their cut. And coming to the channel Monday, we got our cut of it. So, uh, yeah, you got options again. Steven Meeks, how you feel about no ring deathmatch wrestling? Oh, man. Uh, I don't know if it's my particular 
cup of tea. I don't know if we'll see. I don't know if we'll see uh, the psychedelic sweetheart in a no ring death match anytime soon. But uh, big fans of of uh, Beast Man and and Calpo Paul. Uh, I've, I've seen Beast Man work a lot in in West Virginia, and Calpo. Uh, I look forward to running into in the near future. I think I think uh, that would be a fun match. Uh, Meeks and Meeks and Calpo. I think I think we would have a a root and toot and good time. I, I got uh I got I was looking through like a bunch of shit that I had out of the random and it's funny that this all came up because there's a picture beforehand ah. that's me and Spooky Lou and Remy Levet and then after the match <laughs> what and I was night. like damn I need to post these like once that show drops I'm definitely gonna post them well, it's That's dropped. Good. It's dropped. We're in I the know. future. Now I got to. Now I got to do it. I'm going to post it before I go on about my day. That's, a, that's how it's going to work. Got to put them out there. So good. Such a fun show. What a fun night. We had a fucking blast, man. While we're talking about other promotions, let me put another quick plug in here. Coming up on the channel this week, I'm getting together with the one and only Phil Picasso, bringing you Australian pro wrestling to the channel. I'm going to put a little clip above Marcus Twist head so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen, but these motherfuckers get wild with the Aussie Biffo. Have you, have you guys seen, uh, Meeks, have you seen any of the clips I've been posting from uh, Phil Picasso and the crew? No. All I, right, Marcus, I, I guess, I'm sure I guess, you've seen. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, I watched one. Because Phil, uh, all right, so, like, being friends with Phil Picasso on Facebook is almost like being friends with, like, Australian Andy Warhol on yeah. Facebook. Yeah. Um, he has a really unique way, and I'll, I'll say that that's, like, the probably lack of a better term there, but he has a really <laughs> unique way of promoting his stuff and putting out clips, and the editing is always really interesting. And I watched a, a clip. I don't know if it was a rumble or just kind of a scramble. He walks over to the hard cam, and he's got the whole top <laughs> of his head bleeding. And there's some guy that's kind of kind of got this crow thing going on standing behind him. Like, it, it it's wild. If you're not friends with Phil Picasso and if you're not paying attention to the Australia's wrestling scene, I feel bad for you, and it's something that you should – Go out and do it. Go out, add Phil Picasso, follow his shit. You're going to see a lot of weird stuff, and it's all good. It's, it's all great, honestly. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And, and my apologies, Stephen. I had to do that to you. I'm in a mood. I'm hyped for the show. I'm excited. My apologies, sir. Definitely check out Phil oh, Picasso yeah. and Australian Pro Wrestling, my man. Yeah, that it's. It, you will not regret it. You will never regret it. It makes me want to go to Australia. I've already said it. Oh, we're going. We're going. Yeah, we're going. We're we're playing. Me and Spooky Lou are going on a world tour. Yeah, and we're definitely That's the first stop. Definitely stay tuned to the channel. Some very unique wrestling is coming your way. I promise you, Meek. Since I pulled that shit with you, I'll get your thoughts first on the next match, the JPWO. This time, adding Eric Fallen to the list. If you're not familiar with him, wait till you see this cat. Taking on the Rhinestone Cowboys with the newly added Paparazzi. This is a really fun match. This is a fun one. Eight-man tag. You got Willie Storm, Logan Taylor, Johnny Duff, Paparazzi against Jeff Paul and his band of idiots. It's fucking great. Uh, Steven, what do you think about the JPWO? Oh man, I I love. I know this is a hot take, but but I love me some Jeff Paul, man. I mean, he's he's always super fun to watch, and uh, you know the whole the whole paparazzi Jeff Paul feud uh, brotherhood turned uh, turned into the nasty mess that it is now. You know, it breaks my heart. You know, I love love both those guys, and and uh, and yeah, I'm sure this. I I know this match is 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 a lot of fun, but also I know it's. I know it's going to be a good fight. Have you ever seen an eight-man tag in a low boy ring? It's something. It's it's different. Oh, man. So, yeah, that's a lot of a lot of man in that thing. <laughs> a lot of man, a lot of ring, that's for sure. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Marcus Twist, what's your predictions? What do you expect from this one? Dude, that, that, 
see, like, I don't know this fallen fella that you're talking about, You'll but know. I, I didn't know everybody else. Mm -hmm. Um, it, paparazzi in a low boy ring is just interesting to me any day of the week. <laughs> <laughs> um, dude, I've, I've wrestled like almost all of the rhinestone cowboys. Uh, -huh. uh I know those guys are tough. That's so, uh, cause now what paparazzi is like in, a, in it, not yep. in it. Kinda uh, no, in he's it. in it. He's definitely part of the crew. He's wearing a pink cowboy hat for God's sakes. Well, it's, Hey man, I mean, by me God, and, me and old DD vice might get our wish. To, to wrestle potentially a uh, all of the rhinestone cowboys. Ooh, you might yeah. pop up in PWL, dude. Little little exclusive. Uh, the date's already there. The opponents are unknown, and uh, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Ooh. But I know I know it's gonna be interesting. I know regardless of uh, you know how how the match plays out, it's definitely gonna be an interesting one. That's Eight man scramble, like tag match, crazy shit. Ready to see it. Oh, dude, it's so good. And that's what the show's about, man. We're showcasing PWL. We're showcasing RSW. That's why you got the shoot in the name, for God's sakes. We're showcasing, you got clips from ICS. Oh, there you go. See, like I say, we're trying to hit all the promotions we can. Hell, if you're a promoter watching, hit me up. Let's get you on Shoot Masters. It was a fun trip to ICS. Crazy, man. They're, uh, the Roman cam went down. They said, Spooky, get up there and get the Roman cam footage. So that was a hell of a cool opportunity for me. That was a cool, nice little cool deal. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Bring your gear. There you go. Always bring, bring gear. your gear. Yup. Always. I left that shit in the car, and uh, it took me about two hours to ask the guy. But I said, man, can I, I film? And there you go. You saw the footage. Uh, we're just, we're hitting everything we can, man. I want to show what's great about indie wrestling, man. There's so much great shit. I'm trying to document all I can. And that's what Shootmasters is all about. The main event, fellas. The main event. The biggest match to ever hit this channel. That's why this is the biggest show, the most important show to ever hit this channel. A guy I've been watching since day one. Since he popped up in MLW, I have been on the Ace Austin bandwagon. I was so excited for this one. I was I was head over heels, man. Against West Virginia's best, a legend, man. Jason the Gift Kincaid. This is a legendary match. I knew it would be good, and it got out of control. Even better than I expected. I'm sure you guys have saw the clips. Uh, starting with Meeks, how are we feeling about this one? Bro, everything that I've seen from this match just reminds me of how uh, innovative and on another level that Jason Kincaid is. I mean, this dude is, I mean, I can't speak highly enough of him. And then obviously, I mean, I, I know this is, I don't know if this is like a lukewarm or a hot take, but Impact is like one of my favorite products to watch. Nowadays, hey, baby. It's so, so I love, good. love what, for it. love what Ace Austin is doing and, uh, you know. I mean, this match is, is is great. I mean, Jason Kincaid, I mean, I just want to see him wrestle everybody because he, he always thinks of something, I mean, that you've never seen him do before. Like, it's, it's, it's great. Love me some Jason Kincaid. Love me some Ace Austin. Oh, it's so good. And I'm such an Ace Austin, Mark, but hell, bro. Marcus, we got Bullet Club on Shoot Masters, baby. Too sweet. How you feel, brother? About it? Jason Kincaid has made it his mission in life to just beat the shit out of the guys in the Bullet Club. Have you noticed that? He's gone up against Chase Owens. Now he's up against Ace Austin. Awesome. Yeah. He's just like, oh, hey, well, all the all the, all the the guys, once they hit the Bullet Club, they get to come in and uh, have Jason Kincaid whoop them. And I, dude, super exciting thing. I was, uh, I was at, I think it was just announced. It was the King of the Super Juniors Tournament what was it, like last year or the year before, whenever Ace Austin first got inducted into the Bullet Club, I was in the same locker room as him in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. Oh, wow. And I got to talk to the guy for a little bit. And I was like, dude, this is nuts. Like, you know, you fucking made it, brother. That's sick. Mm -hmm. Like, you, you, it's not like you didn't make it before, but, like, now, like, you're in. You're in there like swimwear, my man. And he, super nice guy. Uh, very talented. Both guys, I mean, like, uh, Jason Kincaid has that 
wrestling driven innovative brain of his ace austin is extremely athletic and talented himself this has to be probably the biggest match that we might ever have yeah i mean yeah. like it, it, it's so big it's so high up there that this might it's be high the war. that happens on saturday night shoot masters we've peaked we've peaked oh no Hell yeah it didn't take very yeah. long either episode three and we're we're it's all downhill from here <laughs> <laughs> enjoy uh, this one enjoy this one folks because yeah it's not sure. gonna get any better i mean <laughs> i might that's not too far-fetched because the match is fucking incredible props to the one and only jeff james i, if, I don't know who that is but you guys might not know who that is but somebody had to book this match God bless him for yeah. booking this match and calling up Spooky Lou to record this match. What an opportunity. What a match to my subscribers. Man, don't miss this one. Do no. not miss this one. I Absolutely, promise, sir. I promise, like Thomas. Let's make some picks. Steven Meeks, who you got? I don't know. I mean, like, I mean, Jason, like I said, he's he's got that big old wrestling brain, and, and he, he can get himself out of any – any predicament, I mean, it's it's tough to, to bet against Jason Kincaid. So you're picking Jason Kincaid? Yeah, yeah, of course. Against Ace Austin? Okay. Okay, Marcus Twist. I mean, I don't know. Okay, Maybe, you don't know? Yeah. Now you don't know. It happen. But, I, but, yeah, if I had to bet, if I was a betting, if I was a betting Meeks. If I was a betting Meeks. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus, who are you thinking? How are you feeling? Dude, I've I've never bet against Jason Kincaid, and I probably never will. Um, I'm a huge fan of the guy. I've I've attended numerous seminars. I've trained with him. He's he's taught me everything from striking to uh, all these different holds. I'm a little bigger. I don't get to move around quite like he does, but I mean, he definitely stepped my game up in a crazy way. I got to give a lot to Jason Kincaid, but I'll definitely give him this win too. On top of that. Ooh, okay. Across the board, we're pulling for Jason Kincaid. I cannot hype this match enough, folks. This is so good. It is so good. It's like I say, we've peaked, fellas. It don't get no better. This is this is it tonight. This is a tough one to beat. It's an important night for the channel. I tell you what, it's an important month for the channel. We're heading into the one year anniversary of Russell Roney. It's coming up July 5th when the first episode came out. July 4th, crazy enough, RSW will be in Monongah. And that's how this fucking crazy journey started, fellas. July 4th last year, I went to an RSW show in Monongah. I talked a little bit of shit on a podcast. And fucking here we are, man. How cool <laughs> in is silence. it? In silence. I was going to say, it. I was just like, all right, it. are we... Yeah, dude, I... I remember, like it was yesterday, picture it, Saturday Night Special, just won the tag titles from the good guys the night before. Uh, there's there's a crazy, crazy, like, aura hanging in the air. It's the first time, I believe, that we're in Monaga. Um, Spooky Lou is just a regular Lou out in the crowd. <laughs> Not so spooky. Not so not spooky. spooky. He's, he's not. He's not uh, acquired his spooky. vanilla Lou. Yeah, it's called vanilla yeah. Lou. This, this, this is like Waterloo. That's what we should call it. Waterloo. <laughs> Watergate. Uh, come out, do our damn thing. I was us and the Rhinestone Cowboys were over, and everyone's talking about like, man, there's a spy here. And I was like, they don't make fucking spies in West Virginia. It doesn't make no goddamn sense. I never heard of any 007 agent being from Monongah. But Insane. not long after that, uh, made a made a great friendship, kicked off uh, an amazing thing. Here in Russell Roney, there's uh, constant coverage of indie wrestling. One's been highlighted in the appropriate way. Uh, we owe a whole shit ton. To Lou deciding to leave his house to come down and watch us. And I'd like to thank Lou. Uh, I'd like to thank the people that are subscribed and watch Wrestle Randy. Uh Here's the year. We got a year coming up, boys. Thank and you. Here's, it. here's hopefully the 10 fucking more. 20 more. Yeah. 30 more. Done some pretty cool stuff in a year. I guarantee yeah, you. Yeah. I mean, and, 
And it's only been a year. Yeah. It's only been a year. And there's so many, like, awesome moments and so many great things that have happened. Oh, and, yeah. I mean, like, you can accomplish this in a year. Think about what the channel and the guys on it are going to accomplish within the next five. Guarantee it. It's no going to be wild. Hell yeah. I personally, I know that like Spooky Lou is a big guy about getting your flowers. You you deserve to have your flowers long before and actually be able to appreciate it and eat it in, you know, drink the whole thing in. I think that uh, Spooky Lou deserves his flowers. Thank I give them to him sure. all the time off the channel and but yep a year brother you got oh, a man. year in it's a not like, only not only does spooky lou put out the good content but but spooky lou is a good friend of, of steven meeks hell yeah he's a good friend we love of the Roni. we love the Roni. we love we love spooky lou i love and vanilla lou Oh yeah, we're rep, we're repping around. We're repping Spooky Lou. He's repping the Roni. Everybody, what a journey! That's what, I'm what a journey! And when he's when he's talking about the spy meeks, in case you didn't put two and two together, I was accused of being a spy at this show. Uh, for, Weird. Check out the first podcast. You'll you'll hear me. I, I'm I'm a little bit pissed off about it. <laughs> I just wanted to record some clips for my little shitty channel at the time. That's all I want to do. I just wanted to record some clips, but I was spying for somebody. Ah, they it's thought you were working for Meltzer or something. Yeah. They thought you were, they thought you were taking it back to Illustrated or something. I, uh, there were some accusations. It, crazy as hell, man. Crazy as hell. And here we are. It's funny how things work, and that's what we're doing tonight. We're celebrating indie wrestling, RSW, all the great people I've met. God damn, have I met awesome people along the way. Sorry, Meeks. I know you're very... Oh, no. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> That's funny. It's, I, I'm hyped, man. This is a big night for the All channel. Right. And so... from here on out, it's big. It. I mean, not only tonight. Huge. Huge. We're going worldwide. We're going worldwide. We got a guest from Runny Nigeria worldwide. coming up. We got Australian Pro Wrestling TV. I'm making TV for APW coming to the show. You're going to see other wrestling events, and Lord knows where I'm popping up. I'm working on something now. Another some Carolina, uh, some Carolina coverage. Come tell yeah. him pick, pick me up. Tell him come pick me from up your good, from your from your good buddy Stephen Meeks in collaboration. No doubt. Exciting. You got to stay in touch. I got to I got to put you on to put your people onto some Carolina wrestling. Yeah. Shoot it my way, Shoot man. Big time out here. I will. Shoot it my way. Just not these clips, Meeks. Give me a whole match, ringside. I'm I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting. You know, I, we don't have spooky loos in the Carolinas that that you know send you all that that footage. You know, we just have it. Let's I get gotta wait. I gotta wait. Carolina, man. I haven't Come been on. in Carolina in a while. All right. Come on down. Come on Come down. Out. Get Meeks back in West Virginia. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, Look we... the hippie. The hug. Hug the world tour. By God, we it. make shit happen. Lord. We make shit happen. We made, we made Meeks versus Knox happen. We made it happen. We manifested it. Yeah, we did. Roni. Yeah, we did. So, so what else can we? What else are we gonna do? You know, Man. maybe, maybe Meeks versus Kincaid. Oh, that, maybe, hey man, you maybe, said it maybe. I bet it happens. I bet it happens. Uh, I, mean, I mean, whatever. Let's do Folks, it. it's gonna be an awesome night. It's already an awesome night. I know you're having fun. We're having fun. Before we get in to Shoot Masters right now, let's get in to a very special exclusive match. Friend of the channel, great guy, Polly Kilpis, against a not-so-great guy, the JAC. Check that out, and we'll be back with you. Check it out. God bless it. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Kilpis uh, feet, an athletic feet. He is a uh, he is a savant. It's it's weird as hell. I've seen Polly do some some really athletic things for being so round. I need a, a Polly Kilpis hug. Well, that's, <laughs> another, that's another one we need to manifest. It's you can have it. Itself. Single one of them he's ever gave me. Let me get one. Let me, let me love Polly Kilpis. Come on. What a match. RSW. And that's just a little taste, just a little taste of all the action coming up, fellas. I'm so excited for this. It's going to be one hell of a night. We're almost there. The countdown clock's almost counted down. Saturday Night Shootmasters, Episode 3, the peak of WrestleRoney. By God, what are we excited for, fellas? Start with Marcus, I guess. Dude, I mean, like... Uh... What can you really say? We gave we gave it the rundown. You got you got you a rundown. You know what's coming. So, and you've already watched this part. We're already here. We're already in there. If you're tuned in, you're tuned in. You need to stay tuned in. You're gonna see ICS. You're gonna see PWL. 
you're going to see RSW, you're going to see some of your favorite indie guys. What else are you going to do? If you're not in Mannington, West Virginia, watching RSW Live, this is the next best thing. This is potentially better than the next best thing because you're going to see Jason Kincaid versus Ace Austin. That's our that's our big that's a big one. That's 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 a WWE style like main event crazy level that like it, it proceeds like it that's that's the Mount Everest of the channel. So what else are you gonna do? What what tell me tell me what else can you watch that's gonna be that good? There is no better no. option. Click the link in the description. I made it easy it's- as hell for you. All you gotta do is scroll down and click. And you're gonna have the fucking time of your life. Not only yeah, the matches. The house is on fire. That's the only excuse. That's the only excuse not to watch it. And not only the matches, on Saturdays we shoot. You're gonna see what happens behind the scenes. You're gonna see the life of a pro wrestler, a life of an independent cameraman on the road. There's crazy clips in there, I promise you that. All kinds of crazy shit. You know how we do this. God. Lesson. Woo! Steven Meeks, how he feeling? What are you thinking? It says a lot that that the main event of WrestleRoni could be the main event at any independent wrestling event. I mean, period, Shit, point blank. I mean, that Ace Austin and, and Jason Kincaid, it doesn't get much better than that. And then I get to see a lot of my friends on the Shootmasters. I mean, you got Paparazzi, who just tore it up in Rough and Rowdy. And that man gets, I mean, bigger figuratively. Uh, every time you see him, you know, he'd be tearing it up and rough and rowdy, having having a great time. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, lot, lots of great guys. Lots of great guys I'd love to I'd love to share a ring with in the future, like Jason Kincaid and Danny Green and Holly Kilpus. And, you know, it's just Saturday, Saturday, so we shoot. I mean, it's always good stuff. And I'm a big fan of the Ronin. So. Thank you, brother. Thank you. And for yes, those sir. who don't Thank know, you. when he mentions rough and rowdy, that's a local pretty big deal it's on pay-per-view boxing they beat the shit out of each other and by god barstool sports it do it gets it gets a lot of views that's a big deal that's a big platform and, and i'm proud of proud of old, old papa no doubt and he, and you'll see some behind the scenes stuff of paparazzi i assure you that it's almost time fellas we've made it after all the hype after all the bullshit here we go, Saturday Night Shoot Masters. Thank you for tuning in to the pre-show. Thank you for subscribing. I thank my esteemed guest, my co-host, as always. I'm telling y'all, I couldn't be more hyped. I hope you're hyped. I hope you're ready. Smoke you a blunt, <gasps> drink you some beers, get you some hot wings. <laughs> this is a wrestling experience like you never had, I assure you. I am so proud so proud to showcase the talent in this area wonderful people both in the ring and out this is as good as it gets i will put this up against any noah show any wwe show any anything any cmll i'll name feds all day i'll put it up against anything i assure you it's time on saturdays we shoot saturday night shoot master right fucking now click the link